So in this video, I'm going to talk about properties of operations on integers. There are five op properties of operation on integers. These are closure property, associative property, commutative property, distributive property, and identity property. So let me illustrate to you what closure property means for uh, the operation on the set of integers. So let's say we have this uh, math mathematical expression negative 1 plus 4 equals 5. So obviously it's an integer as it involves um, sign numbers and also they are part of whole numbers with the opposite sign. So what does it mean by closure property is uh, that when we add or operate uh, two integers the result is also an integer so that means the this um, the set of integers is closed under the operation addition when you add two integers um, it will result to an integer the same as to the multiplication when you uh, multiply two integers the result the resulting product is also an integer the same as subtracting in subtraction um, when you subtract two integers the result is also an integer so they are the set of integer is closed under the operation addition subtraction and multiplication except for division because when we divide a negative one divided by four those are two integers and it will result to a rational number which is actually not part of the set of integers so the set of integers is not closed under the operation division now let me illustrate to you the idea of associative property for the set of integers so for addition uh, associative property meaning we are going to um, change the grouping of the set of um, integers in the equation uh, I mean in the expression so we are grouping negative 2 and 1 in the first expression and then we are grouping now 1 and 3 and still the result will be the same so negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 plus 3 is positive 2 and the other side you add 1 and 3 first so it's 4 plus negative 2 so the result is still um, positive 2 so it's the same answer if you didn't, even if you change the grouping of the values. The same as for multiplication. If you multiply first negative 2 and 1 before multiplying it by 3, it will result to negative 6, which is the same as if you multiply first 3 and 1, it's 3 times negative 2 is still negative 6. But it is not true with subtraction because you combine negative 2 and negative 1 first, it will result to negative 3 uh, minus 3 it's negative 6 while on the other side it's 1 minus 3 is uh, negative 2 so negative 2 minus negative 2 is 0 so it's not um, applicable for subtraction as well as in division so associative property for integers is only true for uh, addition and multiplication Now for the commutative property for the set of integers. So commutative property meaning we are going to interchange the two numbers uh, uh, position from negative 2 plus 1. We will change it to 1 plus negative 2. So they are actually equal. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. 1 plus negative 2 is negative 1. So it's equal meaning commutative property is true with addition as well as for multiplication. Even if you interchange negative 2 and 1 to 1 and negative 2, it's the same answer. It's negative 2. But for subtraction, it will be different result. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. 1 minus negative 2 is positive 3. So it's not equal. As well as for division. So commutative property is only true for addition and multiplication for the set of integers. So now we are going to illustrate the distributive property for the set of integers. So it's applicable for uh, addition, 3 times 
negative 2 plus 1 becomes is equal to 3 times negative 2 and plus 3 times 1. So meaning we are going to distribute whatever is multiplied to the group. So the group of negative 2 and 1. It is multiplied by 3, so you are going to distribute the uh, 3 to both negative 2 and 3. So it's okay to distribute for addition um, and also for subtraction the result will still be correct or the, or the same if you distribute the 3 from the outside but it's not applicable anymore for multiplication and division so it's again distributive property is good for addition and for subtraction because if you're going to use multiplication then it sounds like it's not anymore distributive it's like an associative uh, property so yeah, so it's only good for addition and subtraction for distributive property under the uh, set of integers. Last is for the identity property. So identity property is talking about um, when you add or multiply or whatever operation you're going to use, the number will just be itself. So just like negative 2 plus 0 it will be itself negative 2 so that means identity identity property is good or true for addition in the under the set of integers also for multiplication because there is an identity element we call that identity element the 0 for addition and 1 for multiplication because those are the elements when you apply the operation the result will just be itself so it's negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 but it's not true for subtraction and division Although negative 2 minus 0 is negative 2, but it must be also true when you uh, commit, uh, you interchange the two numbers. Unlike for addition, negative 2 plus 0 or 0 plus negative 2 is still the same answer. For multiplication, if you interchange negative 2 and 1 into 1 and negative 2, it's still negative 2. But for subtraction, if you interchange 0 and negative 2 and 0, like 0 minus negative 2, it will be positive 2. So it's not... Uh, it will not give you an uh, identity. The same as for division, it's true for negative 2 divided by 1, but for 1 divided by negative 2, it will be a negative 1 half, so it's not equal to itself. So, identity property is not applicable for subtraction and division. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.